report finds that Orleans Parish is the most dangerous parish in the state for pedestrians. Now the Office of the Inspector General is calling on leaders to make some major upgrades to its crossing signals. WDSU reporter Natalie He live in the CBD now with details from this report. Natalie. Yes, yeah, Scott, we're on Portrait Street, one of the city's busiest intersections. And if you look behind me at this crosswalk, you can see that there is no pedestrian signal. Now, we spoke to some people today and they say figuring out when they should cross the street in the city is like a guessing game. Crossing the street in New Orleans can be dangerous. As I'm crossing the street, I'm looking at a green light if I can walk. But there's usually never, I mean, definitely on Poitras, there's not a lot of crosswalks around here. For Marissa Kindler, who often walks downtown, she says she wishes she knew when she's supposed to cross the street. I definitely try to, like, keep tabs on who's turning, who's going which way, and then people are running red lights. I mean, I never feel like there's actually a safe way to cross the street around here. In fact, the city's office of the inspector general released a report Wednesday that reveals 87% of intersections in New Orleans did not have pedestrian crossing signals. New Orleans is a very dangerous place for pedestrians. For the last three years, we've led the state in pedestrian fatalities, and we have double the rate of injuries of Jefferson Parish or East Baton Rouge Parish. Um, Pedestrian crossing signals are statistically proven to help um, uh, reduce the, the chances of um, people getting hit by cars. The report also shows that Orleans Parish had the highest number of pedestrian fatalities in the last few years. Evaluators with the IG's office is recommending the city install more pedestrian signals and include push buttons as well as sound and vibrations for the visually impaired. It would really help to have additional guidance um, and I think the more it can be clear where and when cars are supposed to go and where and when pedestrians are supposed to go, it would help. The city sent out a statement in response to the uh, Inspector General's report this morning, and they say that public safety of residents and tourists maintains a top priority. They add that the city is currently in the process of installing nearly 500 new pedestrian crosswalks and signals. We're live in the Central Business District. Natalie He, WDSU News.